all laws since primordial antiquity were written to regulate land and sea separately. The laws pertaining to land became the law of the land, or rather natural or common law, and laws pertaining to the sea became law of the sea, or rather maritime admiralty law, which is international law and the same everywhere in the world, no matter where you go. All laws since time immemorial originally from and are based upon ecclesiastical or canon law via the ancient laws and ecclesiastical right of kings. Natural or common law primarily preserves the inalienable rights and needs of human beings who live on land, differing between nations. The law of the sea or maritime admiralty law primarily grants the right that is legal to conduct merchant, banking, corporate, international commerce. Seeing how living persons cannot live on or in water for extended periods of time, and the earth seas that have been used primarily for travel since antiquity, regulation of the sea for merchant, trafficking, shipping, and commerce through law became necessary for the merchants of nations to do business internationally. The law of the sea, maritime admiralty law, is universal and transcends all national boundaries and laws legally. What is legal is not necessarily lawful. Natural or common law, the law of the land preserving the rights and freedoms of living persons is lawful. Maritime Admiralty Law or UCC Universal Commercial Code is legal and that legal robbery and murder. In ancient Rome, a Roman maxim law stated that he who will be deceived, let him be deceived which means the responsibility of the deception is on the one that is deceived by it. Basically, if you get it up the hoop, or what we commonly refer to as being stiffed, shafted, that's your problem. Unbeknownst to everyone, maritime admiralty law, the international law of the high seas, came upon land like a flood and made every man, woman, and child since that time dead in the water. The word maritime comes from the Proto-Italic cognates mer, mar, mare, and mari, which all mean water. These cognates are found in words like commerce, and merchant, and maritime. The water that flows by currents in rivers is directed by the river banks. Water that flows in the world of maritime admiralty law is money, because money is water. Money is current sea. It's liquid, as in liquid acids. Money or monai, mono eye, or simply one eye, in maritime admiralty banking laws, is the lifeblood, the cash flow of the system of merchandising and traffic. To traverse this fictional world, there must be ships. Ships traverse water or the sea, and when they come to land, they come into a ports. When you plug your electronic device into a computer, you're plugging it into a USB port, a universal serial bus port. The world of the internet is analogized with water as well. We have the deep web, and when you do live social media broadcast on the internet, you are streaming the show. When a ship pulls into the port, it comes down a canal to where there is a dock. 
and there the ship is tied off. The ship's captain submits to the dockmaster a manifest of birth, a license and manifest of goods and services being delivered by the ship to the dock. The dockmaster signs the manifest claiming the cargo as property now of the ward which includes livestock. All ships are female. A woman is a ship. A man is a fabricator. A man delivers semen into a vessel. The woman bears the cargo of the semen and labors for nine months wherein her water breaks and the semen in the hold come down the birth canal through a port of entry and are delivered in a hospital delivery room. According to Black's Law Dictionary, a hospital is also a bank and also a church. The woman has shipped newly birthed Admiralty Maritime product, stock, livestock, cargo. A doctor will untie the ship from the cargo stock, the product, by cutting the umbilical cord to the ship or vessel and sign a birth certificate, a manifest of birth after the cargo has been stamped or daubed by a footprint and fingerprint with blood and ink. And after the informants, which are your parents, sign the manifest, which is plainly written on the certificate itself, your parents, the informants, are informing the doctor that the cargo, the stock, is now delivered and can be claimed by signature. The doctor signs the certificate, making you now lost at sea as unclaimed corporate property, cargo, stock, product, commodity. You are now legally dead in the water and your name appears in all capital letters and on every other legal document. Captain comes from the word capital which means money or one eye and equals water the currency ration. All corporations are fictional. They exist on paper as a dead body vessel, just as your name in all caps on a birth certificate. The Constitution of the United States was formed in 1776, but the Constitution of the Incorporation of the United States was in 1871. The Corporation of the United States was formed in Delaware, Maryland in 1871 and became the United States, Inc. All citizens of U.S. Inc. have a license to work for U.S. Inc. They are employees. All corporations must have three things, a president, a vice president, and a secretary treasurer. Everything in the world of merchant corporate banking law revolves around ships as ships are carried by the water which is the current sea. And if you want to have a car, you must have an owner ship. If you want to be a citizen of a nation or country, you must get a citizen ship. If you go into business with someone, you enter a partner ship. If you want to learn a trade, you may enter an apprenticeship. Want to go to college and get your degree? Get a scholarship. Want to go buy a new car? You go down to the dealer ship. If you are traveling by car, you may enter a town ship before you enter the very town. When a man and woman get married, and the word invokes maritime admiralty law, they enter a business contract and obtain a marriage license to do business as a partnership. If you go to a church, 
which means a bank according to Black's law, you are going to a place of worship. Everything is a vessel, a fictional ship created out of thin air on paper in the sea of corporate commercial banking laws of pirates of the high seas. A person, according to Black's Law Dictionary, is a monster. According to canon law, goyim translated from the Hebrew to mean nations, cattle, chattel, animals, beasts, non-human according to rabbinical sources which are authoritative in ecclesiastical or canon law which includes Talmudic rulings. Goyim have no rights. Admiral or admiralty laws apply to the authority of the captain who is the admiral of the ship. Under common law, there is no such thing as a victimless crime, and a victim receives compensation and redress for damages. Aboard a ship, the captain can make any act of crime and he can impose sanctions accordingly. If you have a house and want to sell it, you put it up for sale. You are placing a sail on a ship which will set sail and dock to another port when sold. When you send a package somewhere abroad, you are shipping it, even though it's more than likely traveling by land. If you are losing your house, it's said that your house is underwater. If you get in trouble with the IRS or if you go to prison, it's said you have landed in hot or deep water and someone has to come and bail you out. A ship pulls into a... When you go to a court, your case is placed in a docket. All courts in the land are judiciaries. They are judicial courts operating under mixed Roman, common, canon, and admiralty maritime law under a crown. They are ships docked on land. This according to the Judiciary Act of 1789 passed by Congress which made all district courts admiralty courts having maritime admiralty jurisdiction. The United States of America and the United States are two different entities. One is a corporation, the other employees of the corporation. The United States of America never ever did win its independence from the Crown in the Revolutionary War. The Treaty of 1783 upheld the tribute to the King's venture by the colonists which means America remains to this day a British colony that pays tribute to the Crown as imposed by the Charter of 1606. America was conquered. Liberty is not freedom. A sailor on a ship gets liberty when he's allowed to have a short leave from the vessel when the ship pulls into port. A dog has liberty on a leash when you take him for a walk. A prisoner gets liberty when he's allowed out of the cell into the courtyard for a few hours while under the careful watch of snipers. Liberty is a license. It is a privilege allowed by a ruler, owner, king, etc. to a subject of the same. America never has been the land of the free at any time. It's the land of liberty on the leash. Statement of birth. You can get this by applying for it at the Registrar General. They'll give it to you. And it's very interesting because this is where it all began. This is the foundation document. All identification is generated from this document. And so if the foundation document is no good, anything that's made from it is no good. That means driver's licenses, health cards, everything. Now what they did here, this is exactly what he meant when he said soon every American will be required to register their biological property. Now your parents didn't realize what they were doing when they filled this out and these didn't exist before 1933. Birth records were recorded in scripture and these only came into being in 1933 when they hatched this plan. They created a corporate fiction with a name just like yours 
in doing this, they registered and monetized the spirit and soul of a living being. This denotes ownership. And when your parents were tricked into filling this out, they allowed your spirit and your soul to be monetized. And futures were sold on you. Spirit and soul. Now, this is my birth certificate. This is actually a share. See this red number? This A, I'm born in Canada. This is a class A share. Now, this is called a CUSIP number. And all securities require a CUSIP number. And that's what this is. And you are held as collateral to secure the debt which our government owes to international bankers. So you and me and all these people here are actually collateral. And we don't even own our lives. We are chattel. And we believe we're free. I made an application to the Registrar General and I got my original social insurance application. Now before they sent it to me, they put a little piece of paper over this before they photocopied it. Because my friend has his and they didn't block this out. And when you hold it up, you see Bank of Canada. It is said that the best slaves are the ones who don't know that they're enslaved. And we all have invisible chains on us and we don't know it. Sir, I said, be don't quiet until I get don't through Don't touch me, this. you ain't a gun. Don't okay. you touch me. I am the living man protected by universal law. You keep talking. Down. And you're going to be charged with contempt and you're going to go to jail. You have already contempted this place. No, I told you I would. You're if you didn't trying to get down talk. here. These are the living witnesses to what you're trying to do. Okay. You are trying to create a fictitious, fraudulent action. You are trying to bilk the Federal Reserve by securitizing Sir? in all caps commercialized names and notifying them that the they office? that they are standing in debt now. If you touch me, you will violate natural law. Do not come near me. I am then protected shush, by the land. Do not tell me to shut up. I, I am, am the living natural man, and my voice will be heard. That is the Jolly Roger. That thing you call the American flag with the gold fringe around it is the Jolly Roger, and you are acting as one of his privateers. Okay. You're here on the charge of arrest. This I'm here arrest. by a special visitation. Right. I'd never let you get away with this, you bet I'm here. Officer. To each charge, could be up to a $500 fine up to six months in jail. I do not understand any charges. I only understand universal law and the right to live. Well, to live in peace guilty. and to live as I need to. You plead not guilty in this in this. I court. never plead. Animals plead. Sound like, bah, oink, oink. I have a paper with your signature on it, sir. It says prime evidence standing right through it. You bring forward all natural right. forms of evidence that I'm not prime evidence. I am the living soil. The dirt, the water, and the air has its own voice, does it not? It all supports Sir? forms of life, does it not? I am a part of that life. I am not your corporate fiction. Sir? Do not danger me. You're here today on an omnibus hearing. You've already pled not I'm here by special visitation to see to it that you do not danger my natural living man's name. Are you prepared That's to why tell I'm the here. court if you wish to go to trial on this matter? This is a trial. Tell no, me it's this not. isn't a trial. Here's my this jury of my peers. Hearing, sir. You cannot produce a jury of my peers because all juries are selected from a pool of registered voters, and the instant a person registers to vote, their natural ability is appear to comprehend natural law has been dissolved and okay. turned into fiction. There cannot be raised a jury of my peers. It cannot be done. Excuse me for just a moment. No way. Get back here and finish this. Hey, hey, get back here and finish this. The judge has left the courtroom. There you go. You won. Yeah. There is nobody in this courtroom. Yeah. The, the judge has yeah. walked out. The judge has walked out. Everybody I up said and no out. excuse. Everybody up and out. I'm not letting you Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. All the man. Case is good. <laughs> Thank you.
abandon the Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints.